Hello, hello. Hi, Teresa. How are you? I'm Teresa with Teresa Renee Art. Hope you guys are doing well. Let me know when you come on. Make sure to say hello. Hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Uh, great start to the week so far. I know I am. I am I'm glad to be back with you this week. I don't know about next week. We're going to take it day by day. Um, so hope you guys are doing well. We're going to be assembling some MDF today. I have um, a church. I have a box. I have uh, a book nook. I don't know if we'll do that, but we're going to be putting together some some light bases so that we can um, have some projects to work on here um, for the holidays. So hi, Aracellus. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Um, you guys, I don't know if you heard, but the auction on Sunday for um, Play, Grow, Become raised uh, $3,500. That is incredible. Hey, Dina, you're showing up as Facebook user, but I know exactly who you are. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I hope you guys are doing $3,500. Can you believe it? That's fantastic. Um, okay, so Kathy. Hello, Kathy. How are you? Um, okay, so I got these, um, I got an MDF church kit. I had them, and then I literally listed them and sold out within two hours. I didn't even tell anybody they were there. Um, yeah, so we're going to, this is the one from um, about a month ago or so that I had listed. I haven't even looked at it, so we're going to put it together. Uh, I just figured that. Some people would need instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But first, I'm going to put my hair up. Um, so we're going to figure this out together, you guys, because I don't have instructions either. Yeah. So we're going to figure it out. Um, this one was, um, this one is branded as Decoupage Queen. Um, it came to us from Stacy at Life Beautiful Designs. And um, I have been wanting a church, so the timing could not be better. I'm super excited to have this. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna attempt it without instructions and see how we do. I figure you guys can help me. Um, oh, there you go. Hey, Dina. Yep, I see you now. Awesome. Thank you. Isn't that funny? I knew exactly who you were. <laughs> didn't even have to ask. Um, okay, so I'm just laying out some pieces here. This is probably a side. And I'm going to pull up. I have a picture of this church also. Um, so I'm going to pull that up. <coughs> Excuse me. So that I can at least look at the picture. And it's called the Buildable church here we go um there we go so at least have a picture to look at and it looks like so there's not any windows or anything <laughs> um yeah we'll figure it out so we've got a main so we have a main um church house and then we have like a narthex Mom? yes um can we have a sprite yes you can have a sprite and then up here we have the uh, bell tower. So I'm using all the fancy church church names. Okay, so here, this is for the North X. Um, here's the church, probably the front and sides. This is probably the base. And I'm guessing this is going to be, these two smaller ones look like they're going to be for, and then this is the door. Um, so this one's going to be, looks like this one's going to be for the um, bell tower. Hello, the Royal Court Arts and Crafts. Who's that? Is that Nancy or Terry? Somebody, one of y'all. One of y'all. All right, or maybe maybe even a vet. I don't know which one. Okay, so and then this one looks like this one's gonna be. 
Okay, so this is going to be, so there's no, it doesn't look like there's going to be a base. Looks like this is going to be the roof. Okay, I think I, I think I know, uh, I think I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> no worries, Nancy. You're fine. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. Let's proceed. We're going to, it doesn't look like we have a base or bottom. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to build this main church, like sanctuary part first, and then we're going to add on to it. Okay. So I'm going to use express glue. Oh, that was, that must be Michaela. Hello, Facebook user, AKA probably Michaela, who's calling out Stefan, Shannon, Stefan, Stefanacci here. Um, yeah well the pictures always help you guys so if you if you don't have directions just know generally the pictures do help um usually so we're gonna go ahead so the big you know and it's basically there's three main um three main buildings, if you will. You got this one, this one, this one, and this one. So you're trying to kind of separate, you know, you got four sides to a, um, four sides to a, okay, this is upside down here. Four sides to a structure, wrong side. Can I come build the Ikea desk? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> no, not doing that. Thanks for asking. All right. Actually, I need to, I'm going to go ahead and glue here as well. You guys, you should have seen us. So um, when Mara and I had our enchanted garden, workshop class y'all really should have seen us um the night before we were so tired and i was still on georgia time and there's a three hour time difference we were assembling you know the snip art um book box kit we were assembling that thing until midnight we got really really good at assembling that thing um but yeah, <laughs> once you have, once you've assembled enough of these types of kits, you just sort of they they become easier and easier to figure out. So, but most people haven't done that. Hi, Kimberly. How are you? Thank you for joining. All right, so. Most people have not assembled at that level. Um, we had, we did that evening, we probably did, good grief, I think it was, we probably put together 20 kits that night. And there were, there were three of us, thank goodness. So Mara and, um, and Kimberly O'Brien helped us who oh, I haven't seen in a while. I need to reach out to her and see how she's doing. Okay. So here's one big structure. This doesn't look like it's going to be too terribly hard. Honestly, um, I just need to now get it vertical without um, messing it up. All right. And then it looks like it looks like what we have here is these pieces going up top. <laughs> well, you know, uh, sometimes, Michaela, it's like you got to just throw them at it, right? And 
figure it, get them to figure it out. Uh, and then usually what happens is some teenager comes along and I was like, oh, here, it's easy. Just do it like this and this. Oh, wrong glue. Hold on. So express glue, you guys, I like, I cannot get enough express glue. It seems like every time I'm up at the shop, I bring another one home. I just, I go through this stuff like water. Um, constantly. All right. So this is the roof panel. That's our roof panel. And that's working just fine. So the roof panel is going to go. Let's put, let's go ahead and put some glue here. Here. This is one of my favorite things to do is to make projects with these kits. You might not have noticed that, <laughs> uh, but it, I, I just love these building these things. It really is one of my favorite ways to create. All right, so hopefully that stays and doesn't, oops, <laughs> doesn't slide. Oops, spoke too soon, right? I need some heavy body gel probably. Um, I'm going to just hold it here for a second. See if it will grab. See if I can make it work without the whole thing falling apart. And here we go. All right. Now I'm kind of thinking what I may do. No, I don't think I'll do that because this has to stick out a little bit. So that looks fine. I think that's going to stay now. And I can't decide which one, because one of these arch sides is going to be the front. One's going to be the back. And I can't decide which one I want for the front and which one I want for the back. I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, I probably need to have a deeper arch on the front. I'm thinking this one will be the front. Can you decoupage over duct tape if the glue doesn't hold? Of course you can. I mean, I would even, you know, because you guys have seen me put, um, you guys have seen me do junk journals using like Tyvek tape. You know, and I decoupage or paint right over that Tyvek tape and keep on going. So, of course, you can um, use use tape. That's no problem at all. That's a that's a pretty smart idea, if you ask me. Okay, so that's one structure, and then here's the second one. It's really going to be exactly the same way. It's a little bit narrower. Okay, so these two are the sides. This church is the cutest thing. Um, I might start it on Thursday, but I've also been asked, I've, I've got a live with Pentart next week as well. So I, I was almost thinking about saving it for that, but uh, I may start this decorating this on Thursday just because I want to get it done. And maybe I'll do something else with them. We'll see. We'll see. How did you guys like my Nutcracker project? Did everybody get a chance to see that one finished? Um, I shared that thing all over the place. And uh, we ended up, we're now over 4,000 uh, followers on this page, you guys, which is just like unbelievable to me that that many people want to watch me craft. Um, 4,000 we hit, we actually hit it either today or yesterday. I'm just completely blown away uh, at the support. 
and response of some of my latest treasures, you guys. Okay, so, oof. All right. All right, all right. But yeah, I was like, okay, guys, you know, when I was asking my kids about it, I was like, okay, guys, keep it or sell it. And they were like, yeah, we're definitely keeping that one. So I was glad that they wanted it because they don't always like, you know, I make stuff all the time and they don't always get too excited about it. They're just like, oh, yay, okay, <laughs> you know, whatever. Mom made another thing. All right, so here's the roof of this one. So you just kind of you're just kind of grouping these pieces by size, right? I mean, and hopefully it's obvious which ones go together, but it may not be. And if there if it's not, there's no shame. Don't worry. Just replay the video and uh, watch it at your convenience. I really should have brought my glasses. You guys, my eyesight is getting so bad. I'm like, I cannot see anything anymore. Thank goodness for corrective uh, eyewear. Good grief. All right. So that's this one. I think it is anyway. If it's not, we'll find out. Doesn't seem like it could be anything else. All right. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. So what did you guys think? So just tell me on that nutcracker, would you, this one I have to make the back of one of them flush because um, it's going to be glued to this piece here. So you need to make the back of this one flush. So it's going to come out slightly bigger there. Okay. So here's what the second one looks like. And it's going to press up against the front of this one. So you don't want those, um, arches to, you want them to, to, be flush against the back of this one. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, now we're going to do this guy. This is like the steeple apparatus. And I think this is going to be, that looks like it's going to be the roof for that one. So, okay. Um, <laughs> well, I know. I know. I, but it's such a clever idea, I thought, with the lights and punching the holes through the tree. So I'm, I'm like crossing my fingers, really, that we're going to be seeing a lot more creators doing some projects like that. Which, if, they, if that's the case, um, I know most of the creators that I follow have auctions. So you might be, you still might be able to get something similar. Um, and, you know, who knows? I might make another one next year. I'm not going to make another one this year. That project took, um, it took a lot out of me just in terms of like creative energy. You know, sometimes it's like, you know, you think you, you look back and you think about, um, like, okay, so last year I felt this way about the advent calendar that I made. Like, I just don't know that I'm going to be able to top this in terms of create creativity really. And so you kind of go, well, well, should I try? I don't like, am I done? Have I done it? Like, <laughs> you know, like, am I done now? Um, and so me, there was this feeling of kind of like, it's like this extreme happiness with the project, but then like, what am I going to do now? <laughs> you know? 
uh, I don't know if you ever feel that way when you come up with something really fun and exciting um, or if it just comes out exactly the way that you pictured, you know, do you kind of come off that going like, well, no, I don't know what to do anymore because this took all my creative energy for a little while. So I don't know. But yeah, I, I felt that same. I remember feeling that way last year after I completed my advent calendar, which was also done about the same time and started on a Pentart Live. So. Um, oh, that would be awesome. I would love to see that. How pretty would that be? Um, I do have a casting set available for it on TH Decor ATL. However, I did not, I didn't advertise that I do number one because I've got a lot of retailers who sell all those molds, as you know. So I didn't want, um, you know, I really want people to buy the molds if possible from our retailers. Uh, and then number two, um, I don't want to be spending all my time making those castings. Um, but I did, I will do a few if people really want the casting set and you don't have all the molds. Um, cause one, at least one of those molds is retired and some of them are a little bit hard to find. So I do have that on my TH Decor website if anybody is desperate. Um, but I'm keeping that kind of on the down low because like I said, I can't be spending all that time making those. <laughs> uh, so it's like, if you have to have it, if you have no other options, then yes, I will make it for you. All right. Let's do this. Whoop. Let me put this here. All right. And then let's put this guy. Put some glue here. Okay. And... There we go. This one, I don't have to put flush on the back side. The Christmas gift mold. Yes, it was two different molds, Julie. It was, um, here, I'll get over it. So last year when I was creating Christmas projects, the only gift box mold that I could find was this one. This is by Katie Sue Designs. You can still get this one. It's available. Um, but then this year we also had the LeBlanc mold, which is now retired and completely sold out almost everywhere. I don't even know of anybody else that has it. Um, so Dina, Dina, do you still have one? I mean, if anybody has this, you please drop your link because we sold out of these really fast. So this was uh, part two of the molds and then the bow that I used for the top came from this one also. Okay, so here's our um, church, you guys. My angles are a little, are going to be a little bit wonky because, um, so this is going to go on top here. Okay. And then these windows are going to go on either side. But before I set this down to glue those on, I need to let everything dry. So I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I'm not going to worry about assembling the, like piecing it all together just yet until it's all dry. Okay. So yeah, somebody may have it. Um, Tina, do you have the gift box mold or is it, is it sold out? It went really fast, Julie. I think Robin song, I think she has, she sells castings of it. If you just want castings of that one, 
I think she sells the castings. Um, okay, and then this is gonna go up top here. I'm not gonna, I, I think I wanna paint it first though before I add that. So I don't think I'm gonna add that one quite yet. Denise, if you do, Denise, um, if you look and you do, just message Julie. Um, or even let me know, because, like, I think I get a message almost every day. <laughs> I get a message almost every day. Where can I find it? I'm like, you can't. So we'll get them sold. All right, here we go. There's this one. Um, this one. Okay, so this one is like, it's nice and thick. The, um, the top, the steeple. So you layer three of these together to make it nice and thick. So what we'll do, I'm going to paint this guy white. Um, we're probably, I, I think I want to start this one on Thursday, you guys. I do think I want to decoupage on Thursday. Uh, Dina, you got some cust. You got a customer here, Julie. Uh, Dina, put your link down where that gift box mold is, so someone can snag it. All right. So there's that, and then this is gonna be, and then we're gonna paint these white, and then we're gonna assemble. It might even be easier to decoupage them separately. Um, before gluing them all together. So I think I'm going to leave these pieces off, you guys. But that's how you do the church. So hopefully that wasn't too um, too crazy, right? That was manageable. Let's see. Oh, this goes all the way down. This door goes all the way down, yeah. That makes sense because you're not going to, like, uh, climb a big hill to get up into the, I'm just looking at it to make sure I have it right. That looks right. Okay, so that looks right. Um, this one's gonna go on top of this one. So this would get glued right here. I think we're in good shape. All right, so now I wanna show you a couple other things that I got in. I did get, um, do you rem remember project I did a while ago, the book nook. You guys remember the book nook? Uh, we now have a book nook kit. Um, this is from, this one is from Handcrafted Hol Holiday Traditions. This is going to be, I just wanted to show you, I'm not going to attempt to build this one tonight because that's going to be a whole big undertaking. Uh, and I do think this one actually comes with instructions. So we do have a book note kit. All, all ours. Pam actually, um, excuse me. I told her we needed one. So she went and got us one. So here's some, this one actually does have instruct, instructions. Yeah, I agree, Dina. That would be good. So anyway, we have a book nook kit now. And like I said, I'm not going to put that together just yet. Um, I also have, while I was kind of doing this, I was pulling out some other stuff. Um, I also have this little door, which I thought would be cute. Like if you put the book nook together and you somehow put some little doors on it. This is from Snip Art. So I've got a couple, I've got like tons of these little doors. Um, we have a lot of new ornaments and plaques Christmas from uh, Handcrafted Hol Holiday Traditions. So I've got this one. I might, I don't know, I'm going to do something with this one. I don't know what, like I'm thinking maybe the green pattern pines and then a santa here or something um yeah and that door is so cute it's snip art 
And I, I ordered a ton of them, but I never showed them to anybody. So they're just kind of sitting there and I pulled them out. Cause like, how cute would that be? I don't, I mean, it's too big for here, but like if you had a book nook or something, I mean, even for a mixed media artwork and I was, I really have pulled, brought this home because I was trying to incorporate this into my nutcracker scene, but it just wouldn't, it just wouldn't fit into it. So I've got it. I'm going to, I'm going to noodle on that. Um, all right. The other thing I have, I've got a, a few more buildable kits like um, boxes and stuff. This one is eight inches by three and a half. Um, and it's three pieces. So there's a base and then there's the door part and then there's the door frame. So it is really a cool piece. Um, all right, so I got in a new tissue box. I have a trinket box. I have two like square boxes. One of them, this one is the MDF blank square box with a lid. This is also from Handcrafted Holiday Traditions. Um, she started to do some more buildable things because I told her that we really like, we've got a tissue box. I told her we really like, um, simple things that we can build as fun little bases for our MDF. And so hopefully she'll do some more of those for us. Okay, so what we have, we've got a little um, trinket box and I'm just trying to look at this real fast just to see, uh, let me look at the picture. So one of them, I think one of these must be for the lid. It doesn't look like the lid is going to have, okay, and then these must be, these are going to be for the sides of the box, the ones with the, those things, and then this is going to be the bottom. Okay, so this is the top of the lid, and here's the lid. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the lid first. Yay, Kimberly! I got 20 of them. You know, um, Stacy cuts these all. Stacy's, um, you know, I don't want to go into too many details, but her dad is having some medical issues, and so her time is just so limited. Um, and so she cuts these when she can. And so I try not to, oh, I try, I'm trying. I'm like, I could probably sell a hundred of these churches if you made them, but I'm trying not to overwhelm her. So I've been ordering like 20 at a time. Um, so I had 20 of them and um, I'm sure they'll go, I'm sure they'll go pretty fast, but especially now that we've made it. Um, but, you know, she'll make, she'll make more when she can. She's probably already, I already told her we'd, you know, if she, when she has time to work on some more. Um, but sometimes it's like the new thing is the one everybody wants, you know. All right, so here's the little box. We're going to make this. And I think this one is super cute, too. So this one is a little bit smaller than I thought. So it looks like it's about four and a half inches. Um... Four and a half square, four by four, four and a half by four. Okay. Thank you, Kimberly. I know that's appreciated. We've been, we're determined though. We're gonna, we're determined. We're gonna stick together. We're gonna make it work. And, um, you know, and I just told her, I said, look, everybody, People are patient and very understanding when it comes to family stuff. So no pressure. Do what you can when you can, you know. All right. So here's the thing with this one. It looks like the teeth kind of alternate. So one, two of them have the edges and then two of them have the recesses. And so it should be pretty easy to figure out also where these go. This will be a fun little trinket box. I want to show you my idea when I 
when I'm done here gluing. I want to show you sort of what I was thinking for this one, although I'm not sure because I was thinking about doing a little nutcracker box. But I'm not sure because the nutcrackers that we have are um, a good bit bigger than the height of this one. Excuse me, let's see here. Okay. Thank you, Aerosolis, appreciate that. All right, so pop that in. Okay. All right, so there's our lid. And I'm just going to wipe off the extra glue. That looks good. There's our lid. This is our base. Um, and I think basically what's going to happen. You know, this is going to be the top. So... Um, okay, so these are going to go around the bottom of the base. I was like, how is this working? So these little holes go around the bottom of the base, and then the rest of them are just threading through together. So let me move my top out of the way. Okay. All right, hopefully this comes together pretty easily. Let's see. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, let's use this one. This one has a, there we go. So they have to thread together correctly. One has a gap, one doesn't. So this one doesn't have a gap. So this one's gonna go. It's like a Rubik's cube or something. And then this one hopefully will fit. It looks like it's going to. I think we're in good shape. So the pieces with the holes are going to be the side pieces and the holes attached to the bottom piece. So there's our box. Let me clean out all this extra glue. So this is a little trinket box with a lid. Nice teeth pretty sturdy. I was going to show you this because I pulled this out, my, um, but nobody bought it. And so I was like, well, I'm going to keep it. Anyway, I just thought that was funny because these are huge again right now. And I'm going to make one too. Maybe I'll do that on my live on Pentart. All right, you guys. Well, that's all I got for tonight. Um, we're going to let these things dry. We'll come back on Thursday. Maybe we'll start decorating that church. I've got to pull out some papers and see what I want to do. But um, thank you for hanging with me. And I'll see you. Hopefully I'll see you again on Thursday. Um, if not, definitely sometime next week. And enjoy the rest of your week, you guys. We'll see you later. All right. Bye-bye.